This puzzle was posted by Peter Winkler and shared by Grant Sanderson on 3 Blue 1 Brown. A ladybug takes a random walk around a clock. What are the odds the number opposite her starting point will be the last one she visits? The answer will shock you. First, let's clearly define the rules of our ladybug's movement. We begin with a standard 12-hour clock. Our ladybug starts her journey at the very top, on the 12. Since she starts at 12, we consider this position visited from the beginning. Here's our ladybug, sitting right on top of the 12. The walk continues until she has touched every number. Our question, what is the probability that 6, the number opposite from where she started, will be the very last number she visits? At each second, she moves one step to an adjacent number, either clockwise or counterclockwise, with equal probability. It's a perfect 50-50 chance. The random walk continues until she has visited all 12 numbers at least once. Only then does the process end. The question is, what is the probability that 6 is the last number visited? Our intuition screams that 6, being the furthest, must be the most likely to be last. But this intuition is wrong. To understand why, let's solve a simpler version of the puzzle with a clock of only four numbers, 0, 1, 2, and 3. We start at 0. The number opposite is 2. We want to find the probability that 2 is the last number visited. For 2 to be last, the ladybug must visit both 1 and 3 before ever landing on 2. From 0, she has two choices. Go to 1 or go to 3. Let's assume she goes to 1 first. That happens with probability 1 half. Now she is at 1, and the visited set is 0 and 1. Now we're at 1, and here's the key insight. For 2 to be the last number visited, she must reach 3 before she reaches 2. This is now a one-dimensional random walk problem. Let me show you what this means visually. We're at position 1. 2 is the loss wall in red. 3 is the win wall in green. If she goes to 2, we lose. 2 won't be last. But if she reaches 3 first, we win. 2 will be the last number visited. This is a classic problem called the gambler's ruin. For a one-dimensional random walk, the probability of hitting one end before the other is beautifully simple. It's just the starting distance to the loss wall, divided by the total distance between the two walls. More precisely, it's the distance to the loss wall, divided by the sum of both distances. Let's measure the distances. From our position at 1, the loss wall at 2 is just one step away, but the win wall at 3 is two steps away, going through zero. So the total distance is 1 plus 2, which equals 3. So the probability of success is the distance to loss, 1, divided by the total distance, 3. That's 1 third. The same 1 third probability applies if she goes to 3 first. So we need to account for both paths. The probability that 2 is last equals the sum of two scenarios. Each path starts with a coin flip. Either go to 1 or go to 3. Each has probability 1 half. Substituting our values, 1 half times 1 third plus 1 half times 1 third. 1 sixth plus 1 sixth equals 2 sixths, which simplifies to 1 third. So the probability that the opposite point is last is 1 third. But what about the point right next door? Let's calculate the probability that 1 is the last number visited. For 1 to be the last number visited, the ladybug cannot visit it on her first move so she must go from 0 to 3 instead. This happens with probability 1 half. Now she's at 3. For 1 to be last, she must visit 2 before she visits 1. This flips our problem. Now 1 becomes the loss wall, and 2 becomes the win wall. Let's measure again. From 3, the distance to the loss wall at 1 is 2 steps, going through 0. The distance to the win wall at 2 is just 1 step. Total distance is still 3. Using our rule, the probability of success is the distance to loss, 2, divided by the total distance, 3. That's 2 thirds. So the total probability is 1 half for the first move, times 2 thirds for the second part, which equals 1 third. This is incredible. Both the neighbor and the opposite point have the same chance of being last. 
This reveals a deep truth about cycles. Here's the remarkable theorem. For any symmetric random walk on a cycle of size n, every single non-starting node has the exact same probability of being the last one visited. Distance doesn't matter. The circle's symmetry makes them all equal. That probability is always 1 divided by n minus 1. Let's verify this works. For our four-number clock, we get 1 divided by 3. Perfect match with what we calculated. Now, we can finally answer our clock question. Our clock has 12 numbers total. Since the ladybug starts at 12, that leaves 11 other numbers that could potentially be the last one visited. The probability that 6 is last is 1 divided by 12 minus 1. The answer is 1 11th. That's just 9.09%. And here's the shocking part. The neighbor at 1 has the exact same probability as the distant 6. Every number, near or far, has exactly 1 11th chance of being last. Despite our intuition, distance is an illusion. The perfect symmetry of the circle gives every number an equal chance. Mind blown. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this mind-bending puzzle, please hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing math content.